you've got a calculator that will handle 10 digits or more, you may bring it out. I'm going to try to square a five-digit number. Five-digit number. But to make my job more interesting for you as well as for me, I'm going to... I'm going to do this last problem thinking out loud. So you can actually, honestly, hear what's going on in my mind while I do a calculation of this size. Now let's create a five-digit number. I'll go up this aisle here. If I can get the first five of you to call out a single digit, that will be the five-digit number that I'll square. Go ahead. Seven. Eight. Eight. Two. Two. Six. Six. Nine. Uh -huh. 78,269 squared. Yuck. Might even be prime. I don't know. <laughs> Let me show you how I'm going to attempt this problem. I'm going to break the problem down into three parts. I'll do 78,000 squared plus 269 squared plus 78,000 times 269 times 2. Add all those numbers together and with any luck arrive at the answer. Now let me recap. Thank you. <laughs> While I explain something else. As I do this last calculation, you might hear certain words as opposed to numbers creep into the calculation. Let me explain what that is. This is a phonetic code, a mnemonic device that I use that allows me to convert numbers into words. I store them as words and later on retrieve them as numbers. I know it sounds complicated. It's not. I just don't want you to think you're seeing something out of Rain Man here. <laughs> There's definitely a method to my madness. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> One last instruction for my judges with calculators. Now, you should have a 10-digit answer, probably begins with a 6 and ends with a 1. In between, I don't know. There is at least a 50% chance that I'll make a mistake somewhere in the middle. If I do, don't tell me what the mistake is. Just say you're close or something, and I'll try and figure it out, which can be pretty entertaining in itself. If, however, I am right, whatever you do, don't keep it to yourselves, all right? <laughs> Make sure everybody knows that I got the answer right because this is my big finish. If you have an answer in front of you, raise your hand just so I see where. Okay, a bunch of you out there. Great. Um, I'll even tell you one more detail that I norm normally don't reveal. I'll tell you how I'm going to do 78 times 269. 269 is prime, but it's one less than 270, which is very composite. And I'll take advantage of that. Okay, so without any more stalling, here we <laughs> Go. I'll start the problem in the middle with 78 times 269. Now that's 270 is 27 is 9 times 3. 78 times 9 is 702 times 3 is 2106. That's 21,060. 21,060 minus 78 is 20,000 uh, 982. 20,982. Double that to get 41,864. 41,864 becomes Wright Fisher. Wright Fisher is 41,864. That seems... That seems wrong, actually. I'm going to try, try that one again. Uh, so I get one more time. I get to 2106. That's 21, uh, 72, 2106, 21,060, 21,060. Subtract the 78. I'm getting 20,982. Double that to get 40. I'm, I'm worried about this here. Uh, 40, oh, I got it, 41,964. There we go, 41,964 becomes right pitcher. Right pitcher, I think that works, 40, right pitcher. Okay, next, I do 78 squared, which is 6,084, so I can say 6 billion. Take the 84, add that to right. 84 plus 41 is 125, but I see a carry, so it's 126 million. Pitcher, pitcher, no, yet, not yet, pitcher, pitcher. Next, I do 269 squared, that's 300 times 238 plus 31 squared, 71,400 plus 961 is 72,361. Machete, if I need it, machete. Take the 72, add that to pitcher to get 36,361. Yes, good. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed Mathemagics. Thank you.